What is going on you guys? It's Brandon again, coming back with another great video. Today, I got something, not quite a review. If you clicked on this video, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that you probably either A, are a subscriber, or B, are trying to find parts to this grill. Because I myself have this same grill. I've had it for about three years now, and the charcoal pan, the tray, just completely obliterated. Just, it's gone. It looks like crap. I'll put a picture up here. Boop. And then I'll show you what the new one looks like here. I don't have it because I already installed it because the only way I was going to make this video is to make sure it installed and worked. So, you know, I was looking around. I was trying to get the charcoal pan for this for this grill. I'm like, where, you know, where do you find it? Looked on Walmart. It wasn't there. Looked on Amazon. It wasn't there. Although I did see a comment on Amazon that was like the number one comment like two year, a year or two years ago that said, where do you get a charcoal pan? No one knows. So I did a bunch of uh, looking around. It took me about two hours, and I bought a charcoal pan that I thought would fit. Uh, just so you know, a link is going to be down in the description. All this will be down in the description. And lo and behold, it did actually work. So to save you guys a lot of time and money and trips to the store and headache, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how I put it together, what I did, and, and all that. Because I didn't actually put the grill itself together the first time. I bought it already assembled from the store. We just threw it in the back and drove it home and I started cooking. So if you've been cooking on this thing for any amount of time, which I'm sure you have because your charcoal pan is obliterated to shreds, you're gonna want some gloves. Make sure you use some gloves. Just, you're not gonna want, it's gonna get everywhere. It's gonna be nasty, it's gonna be disgusting and you just don't want that on your hands. And anything you touch, it's gonna get nasty. So just do yourself a favor, get some gloves if you ain't got any. Next thing you're going to need is some offset wrenches. All right, you're definitely going to need these things. You can use a regular screwdriver for most of the job. However, there's a part on the, the handle where you're screwing the handle the, on the elevator that makes the charcoal pan go up and down. It's too tight to get in there without an offset. So make sure you got an offset. If you don't have any, I bought the Craftsman one from Lowe's because they didn't have any, so I had to make you know two trips there. So make sure you get those. Again, link will be in the description for that. And then you're going to need a threaded post which is gonna look like this here I got the aluminum ones do not get the aluminum ones I just had to get these because that's all that Lowe's had this is something you're gonna need so a one and one fourth inch post is what you're gonna need you're gonna need that because this charcoal pan does not come with it and you're gonna need that to, I'll, I'll just explain I'll just show you guys the video but make sure you get these posts right here do not get aluminum. I will leave a link down in the description for you to not get an aluminum one. So once you get all these parts, if you don't have these, just, you know, you're like, all right, I want to do this in the future. You know, you can just order all this stuff online and it'll probably show up to your house in about the same day. And the place I got the charcoal pan from is called Charbroil or Charboil or something like that. And it seems kind of like, like the, the actual brand itself is, seems like a noticeable brand in my mind. Like, oh yeah, like I know that brand. However, I went to their website, uh, the purchasing of it seemed kind of sketchy. The email got flagged as like spam in my email, but it got to here, it got to my home and everything and it worked just fine. So I've done it, it works, you, you'll be all right. I'm gonna go ahead and just loop you to the video and I guess I'll talk over it or something to, you know, just kind of talk you guys through it and show you exactly what I did. Charcoal pan will work, install it, use the install, let me know, please just give me a like for all the heartache and everything that I had to go through to get this to you so you guys didn't have to go through all the waste of time and heartache to get this thing set up. Without further ado, we'll just go ahead and get right into the video because that's what you came here for. Marley really likes to kill these lizards. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, she loves to kill these lizards though. I always be out here saving them. Alright. So where was yesterday? You got 
these screws here, and then you got the same thing on the other side, except you're gonna need some offsets to get in there. Hopefully we got the right tool. After a while, you're definitely gonna want some freaking gloves. As it says here in the video, make sure you're saving your hardware. This is going to be things as your washers, as well as the post sleeves that will go over the posts. You're going to need that because when you put the screws on, that's what's going to make the post tight, basically. Awesome. So if you can't tell what happened is you got to bring this up, tilt it, the front will come out, and then you bring it up in the last two. It can come out that way. You just tilt it and it slides right in. And then you take this here. Install it. There we go. Now that's about it needs to be. So, so this can move independently from this. So make sure this is lined up because most likely you probably moved it like I did. So make sure you move this and line it up with this plate here, and then do it. It'll probably be much easier. Yeah. Sorry ahead of time. Can't really get a better angle than this. Yep, you're just gonna wanna press all that together. Now I got the bottom bolt temp installed there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But anyway, the bottom bolt is temp installed, so I'm gonna get the other big one and then the small one. Also, put all your screws and hardware in one spot. I just put it on the, the catch pan. So do that. Don't lose your stuff. This is gonna suck. All right, so finally, we did it. We got it. Got this new plate back in. Hopefully it's made of a little bit better material than this one was. It doesn't have this little crossbar underneath it or anything for extra support, but I mean, at the very least, it seems like the same material. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Sweet, it works, fully functioning. And I mean, it's in there. It's good. It's good to go. So yeah, that's that. That's the freaking install. So after much heartache and wasted time and gas and getting rained out the first day and finally getting the correct tools to get this thing fixed, it really all in all wasn't that bad. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, and this helps you at all in any way, shape, or form, please leave a like on the video. It really helps my channel, my algorithm. I'm trying to do this video purely to help you guys out because I was I was like why can I not find 
a part to this grill. It was frustrating. No one had a part. I got it from Walmart and Walmart doesn't even sell parts for it. Like what the heck? So if you did find this helpful in any way, shape, or form, please leave a like. It really helps the channel. And you know, if you want to, go ahead and subscribe. It helps me as well, it helps me grow, and I got a bunch of good information like this coming along, you know, over time. I gotta drop a new video every single weekend. So please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. You guys have a great day and get to barbecue.